Raw powers up on night two of the draft. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is Just Pro Wrestling News for Tuesday, October 5th, 2021. A big welcome to those of you listening on OccupyProWrestling.com. You can bring our updates to your website. Find out how at JustProWrestlingNews.com. WWE. Night two of the WWE draft last night. The top pick went to Raw, and Raw selected... SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch. That creates an interesting situation because the Raw Women's Champion Charlotte Flair is now part of the SmackDown roster. I'm sure it'll get sorted out somehow. Also moved to Raw during the televised portion of the draft last night, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, The Street Profits, Finn Balor, Carmella, and Olympic gold medalist Gable Steveson. New names joining the SmackDown roster, Sheamus, Shayna Baszler, the Viking Raiders, Ricochet, Angel Garza, and Humberto Carrillo, plus a pair of call-ups from NXT, Zia Lee, and Ridge Holland. Even more picks were announced, and a number of teams were split up during last night's episode of Raw Talk. Tegan Knox is going to Raw, Shotzi is staying on SmackDown, Tamina is moving to Raw, leaving Natalya on SmackDown, Jinder Mahal and Shanky are moving to SmackDown, but Veer is staying on Raw. Also announced as moving to Raw late last night, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, Liv Morgan, and Mia Yim. Some notable names that were not drafted, Asuka, Bailey, and Eva Marie. Anyone not drafted is now considered a free agent. WWE has stated that the new rosters will go into effect the day after Crown Jewel on October 21st. Several new matches were announced for Crown Jewel on Monday. Big E has agreed to defend the WWE Championship against Drew McIntyre. Those two men teamed up to beat Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode on last night's Raw. Randy Orton and Riddle will defend the Raw Tag Team titles against AJ Styles and Amos. Plus, Goldberg versus Bobby Lashley in a no-holds-barred match. Getting back to last night's Raw, Damian Priest beat Jeff Hardy to retain the United States Championship. After the match, Austin Theory attacked Hardy. Rhea Ripley and Nikki A.S.H. are still the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. They beat the former champions, Natalya and Tamina. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston beat Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. Shayna Baszler beat Dana Brooke. Humberto Carrillo and Angel Garza beat Mustafa Ali and Mansoor. The main event between Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair ended with Becky Lynch attacking Belair, but then Sasha Banks showed up and she took down Lynch. Tonight's NXT has LA Knight versus Odyssey Jones, plus an eight-man tag, MSK teaming with Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen to take on the grizzled young veterans and Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams, also the debut of Tony D'Angelo. AEW. Tonight's AEW Dark has Eddie Kingston versus Anthony Henry, plus Daniel Garcia is in singles action. On last night's elevation, the Pinnacles Wardlow and Sean Spears beat Marco Stunt and Fuego Del Sol. Wardlow pinned Stunt. Sonny Kiss got a win over KM then got the better of Joey Janela and Kayla Rossi as Kiss evaded their attempted post-match attack. Also, Emi Sakura beat Sky Blue. Tonight's NWA Power has an intriguing main event. Nick Aldis and Tim Storm versus Aldis' strictly business cohorts Tom Latimer and Chris Adonis. Also, Kylie Ray versus Lady Frost. New Japan Pro Wrestling. A major upset in New Japan's G1 Climax Tournament on Monday. Chase Owens beat the IWGP United States Champion Hiroshi Tanahashi, pinning him with the package pile driver. Other results from the B Block on Monday. Kazuchika Okada kept his perfect start to the tournament going. He pinned Sonata with the Rainmaker. Jeff Cobb also stayed unbeaten in this year's G1 with a win over Taichi. Plus, Evil beat Tamatanga, and Hiroki Goto finally got his first win of this year's G1 by beating Yoshihashi. The tournament resumes on Thursday. Ring of Honor. On this past weekend's Ring of Honor TV, the open challenge issued by Violence Unlimited's Brody King, Chris Dickinson, Homicide, and Tony Deppen was answered by the team. 
of Danhausen, Demonic Flamita, PCO, and Sledge. And Violence Unlimited prevailed. King pinned Sledge with the Gonzo Bomb. Also, the Briscoes beat Alex Zane and Taylor Rust. Rust took the pin. A pair of three-way matches will lead to a match to decide the challenger for Roxy's ROH Women's Championship at Final Battle. Impact Wrestling. The first match in Impact Wrestling's Digital Media Championship Tournament premieres today on Impact Plus and Impact's Ultimate Insider YouTube channel. It'll be John Schuyler versus Zicky Dice. Rachel Ellering is now announced for the one-night tournament at Knockouts Knockdown. Turning Point will be an Impact Plus exclusive airing live from Sam's Town in Las Vegas on November 20th. That is just Pro Wrestling News for Tuesday, October 5th. Our next update comes your way tomorrow morning. So please rate, review, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.